guys, today I'm going to show you how to get really volumized curls, really kind of wavy, um, almost like, you know, you can see it looks a little PC, curls with a curling iron. I'm going to give you some tips on how to curl your hair that will last all day. My hair does not hold curl whatsoever. I found a really cool product. Um, I got this at Ulta. One of the girls recommended it to me because I wanted something that held the curl but protected it at the same time because my hair doesn't hold curl very well. Um, so this has been awesome. I'm almost out of it. I got some more. I've been wearing my hair like this a lot, and I know, um, like when I've done tutorials lately, I haven't worn it like that if I know I'm going to film a video because I know that people ask how to do it. So I wanted to post the tutorial first before I ever wore it, wore it in a video. I'm going to give you some tips on um, exactly how to curl your hair that won't damage the ends, and I hope that it's helpful. So the few things before we get started that you need, you're going to need a curling iron. Um, if your hair is about my length, it looks a little shorter now because it's curled, but you guys know about how long my hair is. I would use a larger curling iron. It's going to give it more of this wavy, nice effect. This one, I believe, is like an inch and a half. This is the Hot Tools. I've had this one forever. I bought this probably like three or four years ago, and it's great. I don't use curling irons that often, but it's really held up nicely. I have a smaller one as well that I've shown before, um, but for this look, I would say go with this. I believe it's an inch and a half. So yeah, and then I would say to get a product that's going to be a heat protectant that also holds curl. This is um, it's by Gradaby, Guardian Angel. It's called a heat protectant curl. It's really cool. If you don't have a product like this, because these are hard to find, um, it's pretty unique. I would say to use just a regular heat protectant spray like the Tresemme that I show sometimes. Um, it's called Heat Tamer. Spray that all over your hair, and then on each section, spray some hairspray before you curl. That'll help it hold a little better. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly what I did. You might need some hairspray just to, you know, spray on the curls um, after every few to keep them in, in place. And then you need a hair clip. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, I think styling this is probably just as important as the actual curling technique, so I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. Keep watching. Ah! Curling iron almost fell off on me. And I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so before you get started, make sure that your hair is completely dry, especially if you just got out of the shower or whatever. Then you want to take your heat protectant spray. This one is really nice. But what I do is I just start off by just lightly misting my whole hair and then lightly brush it out. This isn't going to be all that we use. I like to spray each strand. Um, you may not have to do that. I like to do that because my hair is so thin. Um, gives some extra protection and it holds the curl better. Then. I take this top layer of my hair, just like you were going to like, you know, pull your hair halfway back. I'm just very messy. Just pile it up on top of your head. Take a large clip and secure it. And I'm sure this isn't new to you. You just kind of do it in sections. What I like to do, I just separate these two in the back. Um, and I start in the back because as if you start in the front, these back pieces are going to be harder to see. Um, so I just take small sections, lightly spray them. I may see a little steam from the curling iron right here. It sizzles a little. Um, it's kind of frightening, but it's okay. And I'm going to show you how I actually curl. I know it may look a little weird the way I'm doing it. Um, I'll show you as I get closer to the front. Alright, so I've done three curls in the back. As you go, every few sections that you curl, I like to use hairspray and just lightly spray them. Alright, so I'm going to show you exactly how I get the curl. And this is kind of key, like if you want a more curled all over, like wavy appearance, and not just a bunch of curls at the bottom. Um, what you do is again, you're going to take this, spray it. I just wanted to wait till I got closer to my face so you could really see what I was doing. Um, if you want, you can come at once. Whatever. Okay, so when I'm around my face, I curl outward. I think I've said that before in some tutorials. And I take it closer to the root right there, and I start turning it. You just want it to always kind of be in motion, and just little by little, you ease up on the clamp and just move it out. And the, the ends should be the last thing that you curl, um, because those are the most delicate. If you clamp those first, it's going to be like you're frying them the whole entire time. And you really want to curl the whole entire hair, like the whole section of hair evenly, if that makes sense. You don't want it to be clamped on the bottom the whole time. Um, it makes a really pretty curl. Just very lightly spray it. 
All right, now I'm going to do the other side. That took me literally like five minutes. That was only four curls, so just do kind of, you know, work in sections. Bottom layers um, have been curled, and I just, you know, as you go, just spray a little bit. You can spray a little more. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take down just half of this mess up here. Just keep this other half kind of wetted up. It looks amazing. Before you really let it fall onto your hair much, you want to just really brush it out. And then, I like to start from the back again. And you're just going to do the same exact thing. When I get close to the front, I'm going to show All you right, what I so do. So it's there. literally been less than five minutes because I turned my camera off and it hasn't shut off. Um, so, that's how I can... I'm not timing this, that's just how I can tell. Um, and, you know, you do this side again. And then... I like to kind of separate this little front section because the front sections are going to kind of be the most important, I think. Um, I'm going to separate this into two and go ahead and get two more out of it. Again, when you get to these front sections, I've said it before in other um, curling tutorials that I have, you want to definitely curl away from your face. It's just going to be more flattering. You don't want that like curled in effect. It's going to kind of look dated. And um, this is going to look crazy, but you just want a lot of volume, so it's okay if it's sticking out all weird. Now, with these front pieces, you definitely want the roots to be smooth, because if you start curling it, it's just going to iron in that mess, if that makes sense, of the tangle. So you want it to be very smooth, so that the curls look very smooth. And lightly spray that. I kind of run my hands through it a few times. Now these front sections you want to go very quickly because if you clamp it at the top it could have a leave a crease. You just want to start it out like that and start running it through extremely fast. And a lot of times these front sections, your bangs and like areas like that, may be a little thinner and um, they usually can't take as much heat. So uh, yeah, so we're done with this side. Looks a little crazy and like Shirley Temple, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix that. All right, then we're going to do this other half. Again, before you really let it fall, you want to kind of catch it with your brush, especially at the roots, like I said. And then I'm just going to go through. I'm going to start at the back. You can kind of keep these sections separated. Um, if you kind of put them all together like that or kind of twist it, it won't get wrapped up in those other curls. All right, so we are almost done. Just a few more sections. Um, when you reach this front section, you want to be pretty careful. Again, um, this is going to be like probably the most, I don't know, it's the front of your hair, so people are going to see it the most. Um, you want to curl again away from your face, and in these few, I'm working pretty quickly. Again, I'm just rolling it backward, kind of away, and then I'm going to do this other piece. This is horrible right here. My curling iron keeps wanting to fall right off my table. And it already has once, so. Lightly spray that. And then you really want to be extra careful with this one. And you can kind of keep it not clamped completely. Kind of keep it loose. See, it's not clamped right now. It's just kind of sitting on the barrel. Okay, <laughs> this looks amazing. No. Um, the key is you want to let the curls cool and then we're going to kind of fluff it out. Um, so I'd say maybe do your makeup or finish your makeup. Just do something for about, I'd say maybe three to five minutes. And then we are going to shake it out. I'm going to show you how to style it perfectly. All right, so all in all, this whole process probably took, took me less than 20 minutes. Um, each section took me about five minutes each, some less. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers and from the back, you don't want to do it from the top, from the back, you're just going to kind of, you just want to do it like that and just shake it out lightly. Um, you may not get it completely through. You just want to kind of lightly separate each and you see it kind of keeps it holds that but it kind of fluffs it out and makes it look gorgeous and um ow you want to do it with the other side
This is a check I totally stole from my friend in high school who always used a curling iron and I never knew how to do it. Um, she would have the most beautiful curled hair every day. I always used hot rollers because I didn't know what the heck I was doing with this thing until recently. And um, she would always curl her hair, but she would start from the bottom, you know, whatever. But she would have this be these beautiful curls and she would always let it cool and then she would go like this and it would look beautiful. So. If you see any crunchy spots, just kind of go through them lightly. Um, it's okay for it to look separated. That's kind of what we want. It's kind of a cool PC effect. And then at your bangs, curling it backward kind of creates this. Um, for some reason, when it goes backwards, it just kind of um, gives you kind of a perfect little drapey bang effect. I don't know. Um, so what you do is you fluff it however big you want it, and then you're going to spray it a little bit. I like this stuff because it says it's firm hold, and it's like extra hold, whatever, but it doesn't make your hair um, crispy. Because I don't like crispy. I like it to be kind of like, you know, touchable. So I like this because it's like, since I have such thin hair, if I curled my hair at the bottom, it'd just be like at the top, you know? Um, if you do it like that with the barrel, it gives you a lot of curl up at the top and it gives you kind of this really nice wavy effect. Also using the larger curling iron really helps too. So I hope that you guys found that helpful and you won't be so scared to use a curling iron. Um, I know I didn't for the longest time and I know I've said that before but um, lately I've just gotten really comfortable with it and I've been wearing my hair a lot like this. And like I said, it actually stays all day. So I hope that that helped and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.